Hey guys, what's up? I am Holly Lenora and today's video we are doing this new fox eye trendy makeup look. It has just blown up. It is so popular and it's actually really pretty and quite simple if you don't think about it too much. So I am here to show you the cool new look, the new fad. If you would please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, hit that thumbs up button, and let's get started. Okay guys, so to do this box eye makeup look, we are going to be focusing on our eyes and our eyebrows. Of course, the face, the base, and all that stuff is important too, but for this video, we're gonna be focusing on brows and eyes. That's where the impact really matters. That's where it all comes in. That's where we're getting the fox eye look. So, just so you know, I have already moisturized my face with Fresh Is Lotus Youth Preserve Moisturizer. Love this stuff. And ahead of time, I did my naked Urban Decay Skin Corrector in the shade Peach. I'm always forgetting that, but I didn't this time. All right, so I've got my bag full of brow products here. You can use any brow product that you like. I'm gonna go with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. And of course, let me zoom you in so you can see. Whoa, how's that? So to start, we are going to take the spoolie part of our pencil and really push the brows up. Make them look all crazy sorts. Get them up in the air and wave. I'm like, I just don't care. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, and next is the, I'm not gonna say difficult because difficult kind of scares people. The not normal part. We are going to take the brow pencil and if, instead of going down with the brow, we are going to stop where the brow goes down and continue on straight. Don't go down with the brow. Let's do this. Okay, so we just went straight. Boy, that is precise. Whew. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous doing that. But we got through it, we did it, okay. So, let's do the next brow. The other brow, the next brow, whatever. Whew, those are some precise freaking brows. That, okay, I look crazy right now, but we're gonna look past that, because after, after this look is done, we're gonna look bomb. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my Gimme Brow from Benefit Cosmetics and go over the part of the brows that we filled in. Okay, so we're gonna leave the brows for now. I know how crazy I look, I know. And the next part of this fox eye makeup look, we are going to take a detailing brush. This is the Essential Concealer 212 from IT Brushes. I am going to take a full coverage concealer. You don't have to do this. If you want to shave your brow so they always look like this, be my guest. But I'm gonna leave my brows on, all right? All right. I'm gonna take some of this concealer and I'm gonna put it on this foundation tray, just like so. And I'm going to pick some up with the detailed brush, like so, and I'm going to carve out my brow. I'm using a full coverage concealer so I can hide the brow that I did not fill in and I just left. I'm gonna pull it down to my eyelids because you can use concealer as an eyeshadow primer. Think smarter, not harder. Okay, so I can totally see the little hairs that I did not go, I did not use any brow product on and that I'm trying to cover up. I can see them poking through a little bit. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but once again, I'm not shaving my brows. <laughs> not gonna happen. You guys are my rock stars, but brows are staying on. I feel like there's a cartoon character that looks like this. I cannot, it's a villain. And the hair's all up. I don't know, I'm getting those vibes right now. I cannot think of that villain whatsoever. 90s kids, where you at? What villain is it? 
whatevs. Let's move past the fact that I look a little crazy. And now I'm acting crazy. This is great. This is grand. Okay, next. I am going to brush through, <laughs> blend through my foundation routine. I'm just, I picked a rando. I picked one of my ride or dies. This is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I'm gonna throw that on real quick. going to go in with a brown neutral kind of muted color eyeshadow I'm just gonna take this bronzer right here this is Marc Jacobs bronzer in tantalize I'm going to take a crease brush this is the Morphe M433 and I'm just gonna grab a little bit and go in my crease and above because I do have hooded eyes We're just giving our eyes some depth here. Next, we are going to take an eyeliner liquid liner pen. You could do this with eyeshadow and a small angled brush. You can even do it with a pencil liner and draw it out with your small angled brush. Me, because it's just easier, I'm gonna go in with Pat McGrath's Double Ended Eyeliner Marker. Has two sides, one pointy and the other wide angled. I'm gonna start with the pointy side. I'm going to make a wing. I'm gonna make it upwards, more up than I normally would. We are pulling everything up, a facelift without the surgery. Let's do this. Nobody talk, nobody breathe, I've gotta focus. We are making this very dramatic. And now I'm going to take the other side of the marker and fill in the lines. Okay, now for the other side. My face is not symmetrical and I can totally tell when I do my liner, so just be patient. Okay, so I can totally see how it's off. Hold on, hold on, ah. You know what, uneven or not, we're gonna keep pushing. Uneven, even, it's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna keep going. My lips are killing me looking at this. So I've got to put on some sort of lip something. So we are gonna go with this new, well not new to the beauty community, but new to me, MAC liquid lip color in the shade Lady Be Good. This is what she looks like. That's a pretty pink nude. Okay, so now I'm going to take the sharp side of the Pat McGrath liner and I'm going to draw right around my tear duct. Mascara, this is for the bottom lashes. I just kind of want them soft and wispy. And for the upper lash line, we are going to go in with Pat McGrath's mascara. The Fetish Eyes Mascara. There we go. Sorry. And for mascara, not mascara, and for the lashes, we are going to take it easy today. We're going in with the individual Ardell lashes, and we're just gonna throw a few of those on each side of our eyes on the outer corner to really emphasize that winged 
fox eye, cat eye look. I will hop off camera and put these on and I'll be right back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the fox eye makeup trend that everybody is fussing about. Kendall Jenner has worn this. Bella Hadid has worn this. I think it's a great look. I think it's super sultry and it's it's dramatic, but kind of effortlessly dramatic. I love it. And also, I'm sorry if my lighting was off today. It is dark right now. It's like seven something in good old North Carolina. So my window isn't giving me any light. So I only have my studio lights and it's really throwing me off. But I do apologize for that. If you have not entered into my giveaway, we are getting so close to pulling a name to see the winner of who could win all this fabulous stuff, the beauty goodies. To enter, all you have to do is go to this video. I will link it down below. Be subscribed, like, and comment on that video. I will make sure you are entered. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.